Hello friends, in this video I will be familiarizing you with the important legal development of this week. The news of the present video was referred from Law Times Journal, your one-stop destination for Indian legal fraternity. Offenses under POCSO Act and Section 377 against children are non-compoundable, Delhi High Court. On Friday, the Delhi High Court held that the court is powerless to allow FIR to be quashed merely on the ground that the parties have entered a settlement under Section 377 of Indian Penal Code and POCSO Act. The FIR applies to heinous crime against small children. Unnatural offences are provided for Section 377 of 5 BC, while Section 4 of POCSO Act allows punishment for penetrative sexual harassment. Defense of possible voluntary sexual relation, Bombay High Court acquits man sentenced to rape. After finding that the testimony of the prosecutor did not inspire trust and the defense of the sexual arrangement was feasible, the Bombay High Court Nagpur bench has set aside the conviction of man for rape. Delhi High Court upholds dismissal of judge after complaint of sexual harassment at workplace. On Friday, the Delhi High Court dismissed a written petition filed by a former Delhi Higher Judicial Services officer who has dismissed from the service after a female of Ahilmat District Court Dwarka filed a charge of sexual harassment at workplace. A divisional bench consisting of Justice Rajiv Sahai Enslaw and Justice Asha Menon delivered the judgment. Sex and promise of marriage with false representation, Delhi High Court refuses to quash the FIR. The complainant's allegation was that the plaintiff actor wrongly described himself as Shiva and moved to marry respondent number two and made a physical relationship with her. On Monday, 1st of February, the Delhi High Court declined to quash the rape lawsuit on the ground of settlement reached between the sides in which the petitioner accused and respondent number two complainant agreed to live as husband and wife. Supreme Court for habeas corpus cases, illegal detention needs to be proved. A Supreme Court bench composed of the Chief Justice S. A. Bobre, Justice A. S. Bopana and V. Rama Subramaniam has recently turned down a habeas corpus plea made by 41-year-old spiritual guru who claimed that his 21-year-old spiritual partner was being illegally logged up by her parents. The CJI stated that there was no case of illegal detention since she was in the custody of her parents. The court has said that it is better for a girl to stay with her parents since the guru has accused the child sexual assault in the past. HCBA boycotts Chief Justice Court until physical hearing resumes. The Punjab and Haryana High Court Bar Association recently passed a unanimous resolution calling for the transfer of Chief Justice Ravi Shankar Jha to another High Court. This was in response to the Chief Justice calling for only virtual hearing in High Court and not physical ones. As of now, all members of HCBA are in favour of the immediate physical opening of the court. Supreme Court observes that Prenatal sex determination is a grave offence with serious consequences. The Supreme Court has recently upheld a Madhya Pradesh High Court order which dismissed an anticipatory bail of the accused who was charged for conducting a sex-selective illegal abortion. The bench made a strict approach to this case due to the history of female feticide in India. While dismissing the plea, the court stated that a strict action will be taken against any illegal activity and called for a way to eliminate immoral behavior that is shown toward girl children in Indian society. Anna Hazari calls off indefinite fast after negotiation with the central government. Social activist Anna Hazari has recently cancelled his plan fast against the three central agricultural laws. The hunger strike, which was supposed to be from 30th January, was cancelled due to the intervention of former Maharashtra Chief Minister and senior BJP leader Devendra Fernandes. The central government has given in to some of the social activists' demand. One of them was to set a committee to improve the lives of the farmers. 
plea to remove discriminatory ground for adoption and guardianship. A plea had been put forward and stated that there should be no discrimination on the grounds of religion, race, caste, sex or place of birth in case related to adoption and guardianship. The petitioner stated that Hindu have codified law for adoption whereas Muslim, Christian and Parsis do not. On hearing this matter, Supreme Court called for a removing of anomalies in the ground of adoption and guardianship and make them uniform for citizens throughout the country and without any discrimination. Plea launched in Supreme Court against internet suspension in Delhi, Sikh community targeted with hate news. A petition has been filed before the Supreme Court seeking restoration of internet in Delhi and about the anti-Sikh propaganda which is spreading. The petitioner called for uninterrupted internet access in Singhu, Ghazipur, Tikri, which is where the farmers are protesting. The government moves to close internet access at the border for a violation of Article 19, Clause 1, Subclause A. The plea also mentioned that there is a race of anti-Sikh propaganda that has been circulating all over the media after the chaos during Republic Day. Approach of Article 136 cannot be adopted while deciding petitions by the High Court under Article 227, Supreme Court. On Monday, the Supreme Court observed that, according to Article 227 of the Constitution of India, the method alluded to the Article 136 of the Constitution cannot be followed while the High Court judge on petitions. Article 227, Power of Superintendence over all court of the High Court. Article 136, Special Leave to Appeal by the Supreme Court. Calcutta High Court directs Centre to give benefits to transgender person in joint CSIR UGC NET exam. The Calcutta High Court has recently directed the Centre to provide reservation and other benefits for transgender person in joint CSIR UGC NET examination at all levels will be provided immediately. The bench was hearing the plea of Sumana Parmanik, a student at Kalyani University and the state's first transgender person to be appointed at a Lok Adalat. The court concluded that if such benefits were not given, it would be violation of right to life and right to live with dignity. CCI dismisses plea accusing Google of anti-competitive practice. The Competition Commission of India has recently dismissed a complaint that alleged the Google abused its dominant position as a major platform. The plea by Baklekar Akash Kumar, a fifth-year law student, stated that Google integration of Google Meet into Gmail goes against the provision of Section 4, Clause 2, Subclause E of the Competition Act. The petitioner also stated that Google was using its platform to influence the video conferencing sector. The ICC rejected the plea since there was no evidence that Google was forcing its user to use Google Meet and that there was no violation of Section 4, Clause 2, Subclause E. Supreme Court asked Big Four tech giant WhatsApp, Facebook, Amazon Pay and Google Pay about data protection on UPI platform. On Monday, the Supreme Court ordered WhatsApp India, Facebook, Google Pay, Amazon Pay and the union government to respond to a plea seeking directive to ensure that in all conditions data obtained by unified payment interface network is not exchanged with the parent company or any other third party. Supreme Court asked petitioner to approach Centre Against Fake Loan Apps on Wednesday, the Supreme Court settled a public interest litigation petition seeking action against fraudulent loan apps sponsored by China by directing the petitioner to approach Union Ministry with proper representation. Mr. Praveen Kaleslevan, Chairman of NGO Save Them India Foundation, filed the PIL. The court was headed by Chief Justice of India. Gold smuggling threat to economic security of country, Rajasthan High Court. 
The Rajasthan High Court noted that the crime of ghost smuggling is protected by the meaning of Terrorism Act under Section 15 of the Unlawful Activities Prevention Act of 1967 to endanger or likely to threaten the economic security of the region. Cancerous to justice system if fitness believe they are beyond the rule of law. Bombay High Court in recent order, Bombay High Court, the Aurangabad bench observed that the court cannot turn a blindfold to the men's of hostile witness, while directing the court of trial to take action against five witnesses whose evidence resulted in a 75-year-old woman being acquitted. This is all for the day. Stay tuned to the next video. Have a nice day. Thank you.